a low resistance liquidity run would be in the form of something similar to this. If we see the market come off of an old high, okay, and it comes down rather quickly, or one way type direction, very little uh, retracements of any kind, when we see this, okay, once that market breaks below an old low, from that point at which it breaks the old low until it gets through a short term high, in other words, the market comes down, makes a low here, starts to trade off, comes down, makes a higher low. Once it starts running through, if we get a market break through this short term high, this run here begins its climb back up into the range that's created by this low all the way down to this high. This area of price action is deemed low resistance. Now, every time that a new short-term high is formed, before this low is retraded to, what's going to form above that short-term high? It's going to have buy stop liquidity. So buy side liquidity is going to be above these old highs. If we get a buy signal after a retracement, we know that there's going to be very little resistance for that move to go higher running out the buy stops just above these short-term highs. As we get closer to coming up into hitting this low that's been violated here, then it becomes a high resistance liquidity run because we move back into an area where the market has moved in a range. This expansion, okay, that's the easiest part of trading when we can trade inside that range. And you continuously look for those until you fill in that break on this old low. Anything higher than uh, this price point here becomes a high resistance liquidity run.